right, today is October 17th, uh, 2017. I just got done, uh, I just got my package of strawberries I ordered from Amazon. It's my first time ever just ordering crowns on the internet. And this would be the biggest big box store of the internet there is. Uh, I ordered 25 crowns. Uh, it was $17.27 with free shipping. Uh, and these are called Hertz EV Everbearing Strawberry Plants. Never heard of them before, but figured I'd try them out. Uh, I ended up, it came in a little tiny package in the mail. They were all bundled in a bag. Uh, just, just pulled them apart and gave the roots a wash. Uh, they're still, they seem like they're live plants. They're uh, obviously not covered in leaves, but that's what you get when you get something that's dormant in the mail. Uh, you can see it's starting to throw out leaves, so a lot of these plants are showing signs of life. Uh, there's not 25 in here though, there's 28. So hopefully if some of them die, I'll still have 25 plants, which is honestly more than I have room for. So I'm gonna see if I have room for all of these somewhere out there. Oh man, I'm excited about getting these strawberries in this bed. It's gonna be awesome. Strawberries are one of the key things my kids love as far as fresh produce go. Um, who doesn't? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to squeeze as many as I can up here in these top pipes. Uh, I'm probably gonna take out those two kale plants in the back. The lettuce is staying there until it's until it's done for at least another four weeks or so. But uh, I have left these two back spaces empty too, so I'll probably put some uh, strawberries in there. I didn't plant anything out there on purpose because it's right above the drain pipe. The drain pipe comes through, but uh, they're only gonna be in there temporarily until the lettuce comes out, and then I can move them over. So I'm gonna, it's probably the worst time of day to be uh, pulling those kale plants out of there, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it, I don't care. Um, I'm gonna try to get a ring of strawberry plants all the way around the edge, and that way it'll be bushed up, and hopefully like half the plant will be hanging over the side, and I can like, as the strawberries start to ripen, I can guide them over the edge, and then just have strawberries dangling around the edge within reach of my kids. And someday this might turn into a big old strawberry factory up top too. Uh, as you can see, I already have two strawberry plants. I, don't even, I think those are Ozark Beauty or something. I paid I paid like five dollars for one strawberry plant, and luckily there's two crowns in the pot. So five dollars for two plants, or seventeen dollars for twenty-eight plants. I think ordering crowns online is a better deal. I might have to wait a little bit longer for to get uh, fruit from it, but that's fine. And then uh, even if you just had one plant, like within say four years that one plant would turn into a serious number of plants but uh if I, if I keep them around the ring outer ring then I can uh it'd be easy to maintain them to you I can guide the runners off the edge so the bed just doesn't get overran with strawberries and uh for this right here I had this in mind all along when I was putting this bed together uh I put the gravel extra deep before you hit water my water is probably two inches deep that way you can keep the crowns dry. It's important for strawberries. So uh, let's get let's get planting. All right. So for the uh, the neck cups I have up top, uh, I ordered these through Amazon as well. Uh, they actually come with little caps you can pop in there, and these are actually made for starting clones. Like, say you got an orchard and you want to make a million clones, so you can make your orchard bigger for free. Uh, this would be a great way to do it. You just take, cut your stem and stick it down in there and it starts. Or even your strawberry starts. Um, I'm going to basically pop pop this back out of here. And then I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to cut the tips off all these. And make it a little bit of an open circle in the middle so the crown won't, won't get choked. And then uh, I'm going to have my strawberry crown hanging out of this with the roots going down inside the water. All right, it took me a little while to get it done, but I got the strawberry plants, little crowns, all planted out. All the way around. Don't mind the yellow jackets, they're harvesting caterpillars for me. There's some more crowns through there. Got four up top. And I ended up having more than enough to come over here too. I got some there, and there, 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 and there. So we'll see how many of these survive. Um, hopefully, I. Most of them 
should. They're showing signs of life, obviously, a lot of them. I broke off a lot of leaves and I was separating them up. <laughs> 